This is Tokyo. Over 10 million people make it the world's largest, most densely crowded, most rapidly growing city. Part of the economic miracle which has made Japan the only modern nation outside the West. Since 1952, Japan's national income has tripled. Her industrial production and industrial exports are five times what they were. No nation has ever before achieved such a phenomenal rate of growth. This is perhaps the most extraordinary success story in all recorded economic history. While documentaries such as this praise to Japan's so-called miraculous industrial growth between 1954 and 1973, the graphic novels of Tsuge Taro paint a startlingly different picture of that time period. In them, financial desperation, mental illness incurred during the war, and lack of repair to their social infrastructure leave entire cities in a sort of existential purgatory. Tadao's stories are based upon his own experiences growing up in the slums of Katsuko Ward on the eastern side of Tokyo. In 1957, at the age of 16, the artist dropped out of school and began to work at a medical center where up to a thousand unemployed day laborers, physically handicapped war veterans, and other socially marginalized people gathered each day to donate their blood for cash. The physical hazards were certainly severe. Forced to use unsanitary hematology equipment, the artist eventually contracted hepatitis C, for which he has had to receive frequent hospital treatments ever since. In his graphic novels, which he began drawing in the late 1950s, Tsugetaro chronicles the lives of Japan's forgotten lower class. In doing so, he presents an image of modern Japanese culture that in many ways defies our expectations. The images are raw, unpretentious, and devoid of any trace of decoration or cuteness. The characters are emotionally complex anti-heroes, and his plots are wildly experimental, stream-of-consciousness stories. In one tale, an amateur painter reproduces the work of Vincent van Gogh and considers how emotional torment is an unavoidable aspect of art making. In another, a young boy flees from his abusive family and ultimately takes refuge in the nearby brothel district. In two others, war veterans suppress their psychological wounds and struggle with their consciences in morally confusing situations. What is most interesting to me, Tadao said in a 1970 interview, is depicting people as they are. I'm interested in the things the kind of factory workers I used to work with say on a daily basis. Though entirely self-taught, Tadao acknowledges the influence of several artists upon his work, the photographer Domon Ken, whose images Tado occasionally quotes in his stories, the novelist Oe Kanzaburo, who received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1994, Tado's brother Tsuge Yoshiharu, a highly accomplished manga artist in his own right, and cartoonists such as Hayashi Seichi, who alongside Tadao, contributed to the avant-garde manga anthology Garo from the late 1960s through the 80s. Viewers may further recognize in Tadao's work affinities with American underground comic artists such as Robert Crumb or Harvey Picard, author of American Splendor. The manga scholar Ryan Holmberg praises Tsuge Taro in the following way. His artwork is as compelling as it is original. 
His stories cross and invert genres in ways not found anywhere else within international comics history. His experiments with photographic imagery, which generated stunning graphic effects, were part of a wider exploration of the boundary between fiction and documentary. And as the creations of an artist who had only momentary respites from the blue-collar grind, Tarao's comics offer an opportunity to imagine what it was actually like to live as a man inside the human trash market of post-war Japan. Japan.